All right, in this little lesson, we're going to learn about a really cool HTML tag that you've probably never even used before and maybe never even heard about. And what we're going to do is we're going to be using this HTML tag to clone an HTML set of code, like this little code here for this card, to with just three lines of JavaScript, we're able to make essentially as many copies as we want at need. So follow along, and I hope you learn something. Now you can see here, I've got a little card set up in my uh, demo here. And this card actually comes from Chris, uh, or sorry, Ryan Mulligan over on CodePen. I'm gonna borrow his fancy little card. You can see as I hover over here, there's a few little transitions and animations that happen with this little rollover card here. And it's also fully responsive. So as I sort of navigate down to mobile, it automatically shows me those details. And as you pull the various viewports, this goes down to the bottom and it sort of gets, uh, it's fully responsive. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a new cool uh, HTML tag that actually allows us to clone an element and add as many copies of those as we want. And uh, let me show you how it works. So over here, I've just got this simple main tag here. And this main is just simply going to hold all of our cards. You can see I've got one card here. It's just set up in a div and it's called class of card. Now, what we can do is we can take this card template and wrap it in an HTML tag called the template tag. So I'm going to open the template tag and I'm going to close a template tag right after this guy. And we can give these things IDs and classes just like we do anything else with CSS. So I'm going to give this thing an ID um, of, we'll just call it my card template for lack of a better uh, term there, card template. Now let's go ahead and reformat this document. And what you can see as soon as I save this page, notice how my card completely disappears. And this is actually the feature of the template tag itself. Whatever content you put inside of a template tag is completely non-visible and ignored by the web browser. So not only is it not visible, none of the contents inside of it will load. If you have images referenced in there, none of those things will load. The CSS and JavaScript, none of that stuff loads inside of a template tag. So you may ask yourself, well, why do I want to use a template tag then? And the reason is that oftentimes you'll be working inside of JavaScript and you have maybe a situation where you want to grab an HTML node and duplicate it. And to write that code out manually in JavaScript would look something like this. All right, now I've written out the JavaScript, but I actually haven't written all of the JavaScript. Um, just as a sample here, I wanted to show you. So what you would have to do if you're going to write this out in JavaScript in order to clone this element is you would have to create a new div, right, with your create element. Then I'd have to add the class of card. So I'd create this div, add the class of card to that div with this line here. Then I'd have to create a new h2 element, which is a child element there. And then I'd have to add the content. Um, I'd have to create a text node here with a create text node with the card title. Then I'd have to append this content to the header two so that that shows up as the title. Then I'd have to append the header two to the new div. And exactly, right, you see that I'd have to add a button, I'd have to have a paragraph, I'd have to add all these classes, I'd have to add another div because there's two nested divs. In other words, my JavaScript would be, you know, 20 or 30 lines of code just to recreate that those HTML elements. And the problem here is that then if you ever decide to change the HTML, well, your JavaScript also then has to be updated to change all of those things as well. So it kind of creates a little bit of a nightmare to manage. So all of this can be avoided with the magic template tag. So you can see I've got this code here and, and sure enough it runs, right? I can create inside of my tag here. I've got my main and you can see this is a little card that was created with JavaScript. The other card is still hidden. So typically what you would do is I'm actually going to take this template tag here and I'm going to paste it. You can it, it can go anywhere. It doesn't have to be nested anywhere. I'm just going to paste it down at the bottom here because it will never be shown. So typically just at the very end of your HTML or something like that. So now instead of having all this, uh, one quick note that you'll want to pay attention to here. Because I have my script up in my head section, I need to have the defer attribute set on the script tag along with type equals module. This allows the code to execute after all of the HTML has loaded. So those two are required. Otherwise, I'd have to take this script and cut this out and paste it down below my body tag. This is kind of where the old jQuery document dot get ready command comes from. So by having those uh, defer and type module, I can leave my JavaScript up at the top and don't have to worry about all this code not being ready when the JavaScript is ready. So let's delete all of this stuff. So what we can do is we, we can replace all of that boilerplate code with just three lines of JavaScript. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to clone 
this template tag right here and then just simply add that to our page as needed. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I will write this code out. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our uh, our main class here. So we can just do the, uh, we'll just set this up as a const main equals, and we'll just do the document dot get element by ID. And we're gonna pass in here the one, I called it wrap. So we'll just pass in the wrap there. And then let's go ahead and get our template as well. So I'll do this one as a const. I'm just gonna call this template equals, and it's gonna be the similar thing. So document get element by ID, and we'll just grab our template. So that one, it has the ID of card dash template down there. You can see at the bottom, right, uh, right there. And then next, let's go ahead and then assign this template the proper value. So the uh, code here goes like this. We'll say constant and we'll just say um, our <laughs> content or something like that. Content equals, and we're going to set this equal to template dot. Uh, content and then it's clone node is the um, method here we want to call we're going to pass in true so now the content uh, constant here should contain the contents of the template in other words it should contain all of this HTML exactly as it is so then all I can do here is I can then come over and we'll just append this to main so those are the three lines of JavaScript now let's just take our main and we'll just say append child and then let's just go ahead and pass in the content like so. And that's it. So you can see as soon as I save, it automatically then drops in that content. So if I inspect my element at this point, you'll be able to see inside of my body will fly open the main. And then there's that div, right? So there's that div that has all of the exact same HTML that was inside of the template. And that's pretty much it. So then I can just clone these as much as I need. I could, you know, I could create another one, call this one content two and just drop in another one content to here and I've got another node already you could put this inside of a loop right to just spit out five nodes or something like that uh, you could set this up in an event click handler right when the user clicks a button boom it automatically adds another node of something maybe they're adding you know dynamic cards you could do this with tables let's say you have a table and you have you know some fancy sort of CSS with rows and you know table data cells table columns with headers and footers and T heads and all that stuff kind of a complicated HTML structure well, you can just have a button right where they click add new row and you just clone an entire row node and drop it down in and it's all automatic. The beauty of this thing is that it's all uh, it's all sort of asynchronous. So if you update the HTML, right, it automatically, you don't have to change any of your JavaScript code. So I can come down here and make changes all I want. I can add another div in here. Um, I can add image tags, you know, anything you write in here. Let's add an HR tag and then update. Any of this code is going to automatically be uh, replicated in your template. So that is a little quick fancy tip on using the HTML template tag. Uh, comment down below if you have heard of the HTML template tag or ever used it before. So this is kind of a, a fancy trick. Um, you could also really accomplish this same type of thing by just having a div tag and then just setting the default style equal to display none. Like so. Um, so you could kind of pull something similar off with that, but the template tab tag is definitely a more elegant way to go about it and actually the proper way to do it. So I hope you learned something in this tutorial. Like, subscribe, click all the buttons, share the things, and we'll see you in the next one.